This is most likely the biggest lure ever made for Northern Pike. At 62 centimeters and 1.2 kilos, no one has ever caught a fish on it, so that's exactly what we're gonna attempt to do. Pike are notorious for frequently attacking prey up to half their own length, so if something eats this one, we should be talking a seriously big fish. There we go, there we go! There we go! There we go! There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I lost it, that was a big fish. Yeah! Today we're gonna attempt to catch fish on the biggest lure we've ever tried. We love using big baits, but as you can see, the biggest one we've used so far is just a little brother compared to what's hiding inside this package. Yeah, I mean 50 centimeter and one kilo ain't got nothing on the lure that's in this box. <laughs> no, that is correct. And uh, I mean, we're gonna try it in a very, very special place up here in the northern parts of Sweden. Yeah, we were driving for 18 hours to get to this river here in the northern parts of Sweden. And this is gonna be the perfect place to try out these giant lures. Yeah, some I mean, big can take the inside of this package today. <laughs> Let's go out fishing. Yeah. After being flow tube bound for the whole year, we are extremely excited to announce that we finally have a boat sponsor, Buster Aluminium Boats. We literally grew up fishing from these boats and it's an honor to represent this legendary brand which has been the number one choice among Scandinavian anglers for decades. We actually participated in a fishing competition this fall and it was just ridiculous how many busters there were. This beauty is the Buster M1 Fish, a 4.86 meter ride small enough to launch at the scrubbiest of ramps, but yet big enough to fish four people from it. Woohoo! Alright, maiden voyage! Oh. First try, baby! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Finally, we have a boat spot yeah. over there. Thank you so much, Buster, for hooking us up with this one. Yeah, this is gonna be the perfect high mod ride. Perfect size. We've been using bigger boats in the past, but this one is way better suited for us. Yeah, we mostly like, only fish uh, me and Pontus, so a Buster M1, which means it has one console, uh, can't be any better. Let's uh, go down the river to the first place. We got some intel from uh, our friends Jig Yeah. They pointed us in the right direction. Now let's see what we can find. Yeah, I mean, if we only catch small fish today, it's for sure their fault, but if we catch something big, it's then us. it was, then it's on us. <laughs> yeah. Every time it's like this. Okay, yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go. Woo yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo -hoo. It's insane how fast 40 horsepower goes nowadays. Yeah. It's sick, bro. Yamaha all day, baby. Oh, premiere. Bada bing. First time. This one seeing the water. Oh man, now it's time for the big reveal. The biggest lure we've ever tried. And actually we got a comment on our trout uh, swim bait video from one of you guys. Actually recommending us about uh, this lure. The Godzilla from uh, Fish Impact Lures in Belgium. And it of course seemed like a great idea, so we reached out to these guys and they sent us a package with the... Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know why you got a good idea out of that, but hey. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so first off, for starter, we have these two 40 centimeter ones, but this is not what we're talking about. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is too big. This cannot happen. This will never work. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh no. I've caught a lot of trout smaller than this, but this is not how I've work. caught a lot of pike smaller than this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the previously biggest lure we've ever used. Yeah, this one dwarfs it. Yeah, we fought uh, three or four days to catch something on this one, but th <laughs> this is like, oh, <laughs> dude. 50 centimeter one kilo lure, 1. <laughs> 1.2 kilo, 60 centimeter lure. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Let's warm up with this one, a 40 centimeter. Yeah. And then when we know it's possible to catch fish on this, then we're gonna take on this one. And as you can see, the colors of these lures are rainbow trout and brown trout, and there are actually trout in this river. So yep. uh, Match this the hatch. Is matching the hatch 2.0. Let's do this! Let's go. All right, time to take the first cast, going with the little brother. It looks so tiny, but hey, 40 centimeters, pretty freaking big if you ask me. <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah. look at this one. <laughs> they will at least see that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going this one. A uh, nice uh, big twin tail. 
on a mustache rig, 40 grams, I think. Oh man, look at that one. And that chartreuse in the back matches pretty damn well with the head. Yeah, I think this one is gonna glow in water. Oi, oi, oh, look oi, at that. Oi, oi. Oh, look, it, it's too good. Yeah, this is really, really nice. And that pulsating hair. Yeah, oh, wow. pushing a lot of water. These tails working its magic in the back. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna work. <laughs> you are getting thumped today, that's for sure. Yeah, I think so. Are we so, ready to get going? Yeah, let's freaking start. Time for the first cast of the day. Alrighty, look at these colors. <laughs> They're gonna see this one. All right, let's go. It's uh, nine meters, nine degrees in the water. It means that we don't need to be super slow. That should just come flying. When fishing over deep water, lures with a large profile are often preferred as the pike can see and feel them from a far distance as they're looking for their next meal, sometimes resulting in brutal strikes. Oh, there we go! Freaking second cast on that one! No! You're oh, kidding me! That strike, man! <laughs> that strike! <laughs> Do we need it? How she kill it? it Oh, Bring up the camera. Man. It's there. No way, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man! What a start for us! That was a strike of this uh, year almost. <laughs> On the head. Look. Yeah. That mustache. Not saying the mustache made the difference, but look at that. What a beauty. What a beauty! River bike, baby! Yeah, this is not a small fish. There we go! There we go! First pike Look on the that. Screen, man! Look at that! <laughs> on the twin tail! Oh Second man. cast, man! <laughs> <laughs> what is this oh, place? What is this place, for real? This condition, too. Look at, look at the color on that fish! Oh. <laughs> this one is like, never touched before, this fish. Oh. This one has never been hooked. Look at that! I can't believe this! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What a start! I'm shaking! What a start! Can't okay. wait to. But hey, can, can I have one of those uh, trout? Size comparison? Yeah. This might be a nice pike, but I'm not sure she would have taken this one. No. <laughs> we, we're gonna. But that's a nice 85 something fish, dude. Yeah, probably. Oh, well done. Thanks. Let's put it back and keep going. Yeah. What a strike, man! Boom! Over eight meters of water. This one was maybe two meters down. Yeah, and you know what? I already fished that. I took the exact same cast like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. wow. Perfectly hooked. First pike of the buster! Let's go, dude! Oh, awesome! <laughs> it's wet and the pike are eating today. It feels so nice to be back out on a boat, on a big fish water, casting some big lures, getting some hard strikes, and we have barely even started. Let's keep going. Okay, seems like uh, Bjorn from Yggdrasil at least knows a little bit what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Second cast. Thanks, Bjorn. After that great start, the rain started pouring down and nothing happened for the next 30 minutes, so we decided to keep drifting down the river. Due to the long drive, we didn't have too many hours on the river on the first day, but we still wanted one more rush of dopamine before calling it a day. There we go. Well done, dude. And a long spin stop. There we go. Another one of those. So we're drifting down the river, and it's quite a lot of current here, but still, this one was standing in the current. So, That's uh, a long one, dude, again. <laughs> yeah. Man, look, I mean, everything is dark except for one thing. That, that hook. hook. And that head. <laughs> well done, yeah. dude. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. I'm gonna catch one now on the 40 centimeter shad. Yeah, this was in a long spin stop. Yeah. Like, I made a couple of seconds. Nothing. Nice. If you wanna get yourself one of those moustache rigs, you can do so from our tackle shop partner, Jigar.nu. Not only do they have a badass store south of Stockholm, but they also just upgraded their e-commerce platform, which is now much easier to navigate and filled with all our favorite products. Like the moustache rigs, for example, with international shipping. We were quickly running out of daylight and we were getting slightly worried about the fact that I hadn't had any strike on the 40cm soft bait. And this was just the little brother. But sure enough. Hey! No, he's going there! No, look! No! What a take! No! 
Wow! Var satt du kroken? I den här! Det kan du inte starta på en sån här. Mille! Vad fint! För det är ingenting som håller emot, det är bara en öppen skruv. Nej men din dumma idiot! Fuck! I was born with zero IQ. Fuck what a take! <laughs> no! Uh, I'm so sorry to that pike. Okay, I'm so, so quick sorry. explainer. There are, I mean, most of the time we use uh, shallow rigs that are like closed up top. Then we can put uh, oh. the stinger up there. But this one is an older version which is open. And I forgot about it. Oh man. It would be easy to just cut this away, but this is an important lesson for all you guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, so time for the red bellied one instead. Yeah, new shallow screw. No, the same, but then now I'm just gonna okay. learn. Yeah, we live and we learn. Yeah, we live and we learn. learn. Let's take them now. So now I'm putting it on the stay lock. There you go. Let's try this one. We really hope she managed to get rid of that lure from her mouth, but now at least we knew that the lure was working. Oh, look at this one with the red paddle. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this one. How deep? Four meters. Snack, 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 bro! There we go! Skoj! Oh, the spin stop! 40 centimeter! 40 centimeter, baby! No, it's okay, it's okay. Take it. Yeah, I'll take it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't take the net. She, she lost on the one hook now. Oh, no. Or no, 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 yeah. There we go! Oh, yeah! Such a careful fight, dude. Yes, sir! 40 centimeter, <laughs> not even hard. <laughs> Let's go. Biggest snare, smallest pike. Kein problem for the echt! But look, they're so pretty, it's sick, dude. Oh, man. Oh, here we freaking go. 40 right. centimeter soft bait versus maybe 75 centimeter pike. No hesitation at all. There we go. Look at that belly. Those colors are beautiful. Oh, look at that. Time to let her go. <sighs> nice man. You ready to swim back? Adios. Oh, there she goes. Ah oh, man. Boom, Boom dude. <laughs> this is pike fishing at its finest. The first session from our new buster had come to an end, and now we were warmed up and ready to take on the real challenge to catch a pike on the 60 centimeter lure. The next morning we were greeted by zero wind and clear skies. Maybe not ideal conditions for casting giant lures, but hey, you always catch more fish on the water than on the couch. We are officially back out on the Big Fish River once again, and now it's time to use the biggest baits we have ever used in the official history of Team High Mott. Yeah, this is literally like, I have no idea if we're gonna be able to do this or not. No. I mean, this is a serious challenge. Catch fish on this. But one thing that's for sure is that both side we never ever give up. So let's go out and give it a go. Yeah, now is the time. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, I can't wait to see this one in the water. <laughs> no, I have no idea if anyone's ever caught fish on this lure. But I, so, I, I can pretty, I can surely say that not on casting at least. Not on casting. I think that this, this is a whole new level of stupidity. <laughs> I've never seen anyone on YouTube catch a fish or even attempt to do so on a lure this big. Yeah. So this one weighs uh, 1.2 kilos and this is the heaviest rod I have. It's up to 300 grams. So we're, I mean, we're over <laughs> loading this one by 400%. Yeah. Um, but this is a good rod. It has withstood great forces before. She has yeah. survived a lot. But now I this think is so. actually a strong cracker, that's for sure. Okay, time for so the first official, official first swim. swim test. Imagine a 12 kilo fish coming at it both sides. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> big piss that. Big piss that. This rod is not surviving this day. <laughs> 
holy shit, this feels a lot heavier than the, the pike <laughs> I've tried before. Okay, let's just try with it. Swim test. Swim test. Oh, I'm gonna give me a break. Yeah, well, if you can just get it out today, it'll get thumped. Oh, 0 0.43 braid should hold at least a, a small backlash. I've never broken this line off ever, like in a in, in bottom or in a in overrun or whatever. But this is next level. Are we ready for first cast? Yeah, we are. <sighs> oh, I think we go over here. Oh. Did you hear that in the rod? <laughs> <laughs> what have we signed What have up we for? done? Look at the action! They, they will smash this one. I yeah. Think. If we serve this one to a big enough pike, she will freaking smash it. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm gonna use the new 14 inch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, more like eight. I think it's eight inch, so about 20 centimeters. Versus uh, how many inches is this? <laughs> Too many. Yeah. It feels like I'm going for perch fishing now. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I'm not surprised if you catch no. a perch. Oof. No, I would be neither. Okay. I haven't been this excited and afraid and nervous in a long time, so let's get it done. But this one is, oh my god, you have to see it, it's actually sexy as f I think you'll catch more fish than me at least. Yeah, look at the pause, <laughs> look how the Ooh. paddle goes in the pause. Freaking epic. Well, this is gonna be very freaking exciting, let's get this challenge going. And so, we've officially entered phase two of this adventure. Now it's time for the 62 centimeter Godzilla to go for a swim. I mean, look at this one in the water, it's just sick. The, the color, <laughs> the size, the swimming action, everything is just sick. So, uh, here's for some back pain tomorrow! And a broken <laughs> rod today. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like someone throwing a big ass rock in the water. Yeah, I mean, if we get a strike on this, what is that gonna be? But that now we must be getting close to some sort of a limit to like <laughs> how big bait fish do they actually actually eat. Let us know in the comments below where is the limit? How big lures can you actually catch a pike on? I'm gonna do like this. Net is ready. Pombre. That's good man. Oof. Big, big rocks down here, four meters. There, there we go. go, there we go, what a take, dude. Nice. On the Venom? Yeah, on the Venom, baby, what a take. <laughs> I love to fish this river pike, they are so strong. Whoa. First pike of the day. She's angry and she's not small. No, she's, this is a nice pike. Not the bad start of this day, that's for <laughs> Look sure. Look at that. That's a pretty looking pike right there. Oh, wow. On a new Venom. Yes, sir. Oh, get yours at jigar.nu. She would not have eaten this one. <laughs> you ready to go, baby? Yes, she is. There she goes. Adios. Adios, baby. It's on, man. It's on and I love it. We just need to get this one in front of her pike. Of the right size. Yeah. What do you think is the smallest pike that could eat this one? Uh, I think that a stupid 95 probably. Yeah, and could that eat brings it. us to the next question like, do they always strike to eat or do they sometimes strike to like get the f out of here? That's territorial behavior. I've seen a few comments about that on our previous videos and that's a very interesting theory. I haven't thought about that before. Yeah. Again! Again. What the heck? This is heavy. No, yeah, this is heavier head shakes. I think this is bigger. It's crazy. The next cast. What the f The next cast. And Come this on. is. Yeah, this is a bit better than the last one. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. This is a nice one. Oh, shit. Have to. Oh, yeah, not a nice one, man. Oh. Man, she's even pulling drag on me. Whoa. Look at this fish. Oh. No, you don't one. have to, you don't have to. You don't have to. Oh man, they're eating nice venom today. Oh. You thought that was your lunch, did you? Uh-uh, the tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you are so fooled by nice venom. <laughs> Look what an autumn fish. I can't believe this. Look. <laughs> oh man, is this fantastic or what? There we go, dude. Now it's your turn. Uh, hoping for it. Oh man. God, yeah, like oh no. That's a fifth of an ice now, okay? Oi, 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 what be it, also? As time went by, we were starting to question whether this bait might actually be too big for us to have a realistic chance to catch a pike on it. I mean, sure, if all stars align and the conditions are ideal, it should of course be theoretically possible, but with the limitation of the rather short casts combined with no wind and clear skies, things didn't look too promising. Once again, we came back to one of our favorite quotes by the great Mikko Seppanen. To catch a fish, you need to fish. And with those words echoing in our heads, the waiting game was on. Men alltså, det måste ju stå någon jävla... Alltså, det måste stå en 10 kilo så här. Oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Had a strike! No! 100% confirmed strike! <gasps> <laughs> oh, dude, had a freaking strike on this one. I'm 100% sure. Let's check for bite marks. Oh, I'm shaking, man. I'm 100% Then we shaking. are too. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. No. There she was. No. No. And back here. And there. Oh. After scheiße. After scheiße, man. Oh. No, it. No. Okay, we're gonna stay in this area for a while and then work our way down. I, I feel like we're like whispering now. Yeah. Now we know there are big fish down there. We're that like, actually Oof. eats that bait. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dun, 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 I really dun, thought dun. that was. Yeah, I know. I know <sighs> the feeling. Oh, but damn. Oh shit, it's shallow here. Just one stick. There we go. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Sharp, sharp. Let's try it again. We now knew our mission was actually doable, which gave us a well-needed confidence boost. But instead we were once again faced with our number one enemy that keeps haunting us. Not being able to set the hooks when finally getting the chance. And then, to rub some salt into our wounds, this happened. Hey! Tough freak. So clart EU pålet. Hypt. Inte simvänligt. Well, I guess that sums up day two, for me at least. Yeah. One strike, uh, we know it's possible. We have one left, so uh, I think we need to go home, have some dinner, sleep on it and decide what we'll do tomorrow. Yeah, actually it wasn't the braid, it was the one millimeter floor carbon yeah. that uh, went off. Must have been damaged or something. Hey. It's a whole lot of power that goes off when you have a <laughs> professional overrun with this one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think tomorrow it's gonna be the big day. Let's hope so. The next morning we decided to drive to another stretch of the river and explore some new waters. Our friends Jacob and Bjorn had only been there once very briefly without properly fishing it, so we had no idea what to expect. As we launched the buster into the unknown, we had a feeling that this might, just might, be the day. New day, new possibilities. One lure down, one more to go. If we snap this one, it's game over. Then. We can't catch fish on it, of course. So, uh, new leader. Oh yeah, baby. Going with this one, brown trout colored. And actually, it's just totally insane. We're fishing new waters today. We've never been here before. And on our way to the boat launch, we met a freaking fish... Uh, fish transport. And a guy said, hey, be careful of our newly released brown trout in this yeah, river. Yeah, we stocked the river with a bunch of brown trout, like, about this size. Yeah. Don't catch them, please. <gasps> And we're like, we're going for the, the ones eating those for breakfast, so don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just crazy. So we know for sure there are brown trout here. There should be some big pike here and uh, we're here to catch them. 
Oh. Matching the hatch, baby. Oh, yeah. holy shit. If there are some hungry ladies here, they're gonna eat it. They're gonna eat it. All right. Time to get the trolling motor working our way slowly across this like edge of the current over here. Yep. All right, little brown trout. Now is the time. Please give me a big pike. I am nervous. I am nervous. I'm gonna start with what should be a little bit more of a safe card. <laughs> big ass nice curly prototype. Oh, that color and those hooks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just look it at it. Water. And look how it sinks on the drop. I think that's gonna be what gets the big ones today. Let's continue up this edge here. Yeah. This looks too good. <laughs> what a slap. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Dinner bell is calling. Brunch bell. Yeah. I think if we get this one in front of a hangry lady, she's gonna strike on the first cast, so we should just cover water, man. Yeah, this really feels either like... Either they'll take it or they won't. Yeah. <laughs> and cover water we did. We started fishing the edge of the main river with a ton of structure and small pockets, but none of them seemed to hold any fish. After a few hours, we moved into a big eddy, which turned out to be absolutely packed with bait fish. We are working our way around this deep hole, and look at this. Plenty of bait fish here. 8.6 meters. Oi, oi, oi. If there are no big pike around this, then I don't know where they are. Same here. Oh uh ho. -huh. There we have it, the first bite of the day. Snicked. Try new waters and the first contact is in the book. But I'm sure there will be a replay of my rod there. Yeah. It, it was like, tick, under the leaves. Yep. Really, really, really slow. But just look at the leaves here. Yeah. Which means that the water is standing still. Oh, I see something on the left side of the side image now. Yeah, I think this is the place. There, there we go! We go. Nice. Hey, I lost it! That was a f***ing big fish! F***, man. That's good. <sighs> big fish. Off to scheisse. Off to scheisse, man. Off to scheisse. Off to scheisse. No, 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 no. Off to scheisse. I'm shaking like hell, dude. Oh, that was... That was a take, I can tell you that much. And the weight I felt. Felt the weight when it ate the bait. Yeah. Oh, mad. Freaking super. Uh, well, no, not fucking super sharp hooks. Mother trucker. Oh, man, what a take. So cool under the leaves here in the eddy. I'm sorry to say it, but I'm gonna steal it, man. I changed to a fresh pair of trebles, but we didn't get any more strikes in the deep hole, so we continued our way down the river until we found another great looking area. A backwater protected from the current with super nice looking grass close to deep water. Het gräs, ja. Och jävla vad den lyser i. Kolla vad den glittrar! Det blir så jävla regnbågsglitter typ. Ja. The sun just came out and look at this like shimmer and glitter in the sun. Looks really, really nice. Feels good to see the sun, eh? Sure does. Doesn't feel good to, to, to feel the wind in my ears, though. <laughs> I can see how red your ear is. <laughs> we need to fish that corner. Yeah, also. I know. You're just gonna fish the edge of the current. Yeah. What a freaking nice area. All of me. We were more than five hours into the third day and still hadn't caught a single pike. This stretch of the river sure didn't seem to hold a ton of pike, but our hope was that there might be a really big one. Nej! Nej! Ja, det var nummer tre. Nej! Fan! Vilken jävla hugg! Det är inte f***ing sant! Coming up on a new place. Nay, right in the middle here in the opening. No. Like, uh, yeah. That's a seven meter hole. It, no. Yeah, seven meters. Nay. A fun tap on fisk for. And now there will be 40 smart asses in the comments saying you should do this, you should do that. <laughs> they should just <laughs> shut up. I'm trying my best. After fucking shy sir. 
<laughs> but at least you're getting the strikes. Smacked! I... No! They're probably not two kilo fish. Oh, thanks for rubbing it in. Mm. Boom, baby! Have a little bit of this, motherfuckers. You can move a little bit out. It's a little bit shallow for my lure. I get hooked yeah. weed all the time, but up there it's nice. But look, I think this whole thing is a nice backwater. All the way down there. Yeah, there was at least one fish in here. And where there's one fish, there should be more. But it's two degrees warmer here. It's nine. Yeah, not so strange then, is it? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Oh, really nice grass. Look. What a nice area. Look at this, there must be one up there. Now we're river piking. Yeah. Spot lock here? Sure. The deep hole is up in this direction. Let's say like, it's like four or five meters, like here. And then like seven, eight there. Oof. We had a strong belief in this area and decided to thoroughly fish every square meter of it. The most important skill of an angler is knowing when and where to fish a certain area and if you make the wrong bet, you're gonna waste your precious time for nothing. But if you play your cards right and manage to serve your lure at the right place, at the right time, you might be greatly rewarded. The problem is that even when you do everything exactly right, there might still be hours or even days between each strike and the only thing you can do is to trust your instinct and put in the time. But. As the third day was slowly coming to an end, time was becoming our biggest enemy. I've forgotten how a strike feels. It's nice. Like a karate kick to your elbow. Nice. How to show a little? Oh, I've a little crafty strum here, fast it's the wrong way. Let's just cast here. I can't freaking believe this! We listen like, yeah, you heard it. We said like, okay, let's get the <laughs> here. Yeah, it's yeah. so sick! <laughs> Alright, okay, one last cast. Down there. And uh, close to the boat. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! On a f***ing 60 centimeter. I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Yes! Here's yes, so much. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes! Who did something? Oh! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> Happy freaking look, look at this! Look! Four look. hooks! <laughs> Five hours all yeah, the way! Baby. We took like literally every stinger we have! <laughs> <laughs> Put them together! And voila! I think this is the biggest lure anyone's ever caught a pike on, as far as I know at least. At least casting. Maybe some crazy musky angler has caught a bonus pike or whatever. But it's it was freaking possible. It was And it's real! Uh, yes! The fish is way smaller than I thought it would be, to be honest. But she thumped it! Oh man, let's have a look at her, the prettiest pike in the whole wide world. <laughs> what were you thinking, little pike? How are you supposed to get this one into your stomach, you little crazy fish? Look at this. <laughs> well look, look at his stomach. She knows what to do. When she finds a bait fish, at least she knows how to eat. Yeah, like, this one talking. is going to become one of the bigger pikes in this river if she has this confidence. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Larry's bait, bait is pu pushing 60 by some margin. <laughs> yeah. 60 for f***ing three centimeters. A pike, 81. 81. It's always <laughs> those crazy 81s. <laughs> oh. They are so crazy, these little guys. 
So the best 81 ever to be caught. <laughs> so yeah, man. So catch a pike on a 60 centimeter check. Let's freaking go. Time to let it go. Yep. Look at this. Can't beat it. Oh, I'm out of freaking emotions, guys. Uh, yeah, me too. Me too. Look at this. This is like a nice catch picture. Like, yeah, this is nice. Like a nice <laughs> catch for being a brown trout. <laughs> <laughs> the first adventure from the Buster has come to an end. Yeah, man, what a fantastic <laughs> couple of days out on the rivers here in the northern part of Sweden. It has been from this fantastic piece of fishing boat. Yeah, we fought hard, but we succeeded. We caught a fish on a 60 centimeter trout lure. Yeah, now it's time for us to go home. We have some plenty <sighs> more fun video ideas for you. So we're gonna go home and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. See you in the next video.